Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. This is Lucky Self Serve in Grand Rapids, Michigan. First thing out of the gate, six liter LQ4 and a Denali. Um, a mare barrel. <laughs> Richard Holder made a thousand horsepower. Add that to the list of other shit people are never going to do. Um, I'm here today to browse and peruse because money allows all to be endowed. Drop my name phone. Um, I like this yard because they have weird shit in here like campers, which is pretty cool. This one's not for sale today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't remember. Is this one the one that had a 440 or 454 in it? been a little minute since I've been out here. Al's Trailer Mart. Imagine the memories that were made in here. That is, that's a big block. Certainly a 454, as new as this is. Um, here's a rat poop. I think a lot of these wind up just getting abandoned at like the, uh, Storage, 59,034 miles. Somebody came out here and snatched the quadra jet, left the rest. Looks like it, it would be miserable to pull. But they do allow sawzalls out here. I don't think that this is the one. Ugh. I was thinking of with the 440, I think that's one, this one. 101.3 of Fox. It used to be a KLQ. But after it moved up the dial, KLQ used to be 94.5 when I was a boy. But yeah, this one also. Oh no, I'm loudly wrong. This is a completely different RV. Somebody actually like tried to remodel this one. water pump so this one's got 78,000 on it look at this shelf this is a neat little deal Woo! <laughs> ejecto cedo cuz yeah 78,000 on this boy it's got to be a big block god imagine how miserable this thing would be with a small block Take a look, see. Sold and service by Michigan Trailer Coach. Mopar Performance Parts. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is it? Trailer 12 volt supply. Gotta be a big block. It's got to be that old 440, son. So, they got a new selection of RVs out here. I was, I was having a bit of a disagreement with a gentleman who was like, well, I like to pay the money because that way I for sure have a warranty. And I'm like, well, I like to not pay the money. And I for sure... Chassis by Dodge will have the junkyard warranty, which is to say that I will walk out here to the junkyard and get another 440 or whatever I want. I may still yet come get that thermal quad and that coil bracket, which is different than mine. Um, we will have to see. It's actually not what I'm here for, but I am having fun. So, um, this radiator would probably fit my purposes better than the one I'm using. Just checking to see my, my camper doesn't have a fan. My wife would like one, but that one doesn't have one either. So...
kind of see it all out here, don't you? So, that's what I'm looking for. It's that dodge over there. I'll bring you guys right back. So one of my favorite pastimes is to come to the junkyard and figure out how to make my junk work. But <laughs> vultures have been at this one and I simply don't know how anything went here because they left no part behind. I thought this was a Magnum, but it's an Imperial. It's new. This car's been here for a year or more. We'll go wander to the Dodge Station. Woo! Look at that Ranchero. It's new also. I've always liked those Lincolns with the Afro windows. What's this, like an adapter on an adapter on an adapter? Yep. <laughs> Modified power. This thing looks like not that bad. It's kind of a shame. Somebody probably could have had a good time with that. I don't expect to find any dodges like mine over here. It's hard to say. Like one time they'll call it a classic, and the next time they'll set it with everything else. I kind of, I've showed you guys these before. They're very common in newer vehicles. Um, consider getting something like this for my Dodge. So I have my relays and fuses in one spot. Of course, some tweaker came out here and stole every fuse out of it because it's what you paid two dollars for. Her, her. There, people are like strangely compulsive. How about stealing stupid shit? I swear. I also, I see a Cherokee over here. I also still need a, I need a starter for my Dodge if I can find one laying on the ground. And I need a TCM from an older XJ than this. I can tell I'm not super, super keen on XJs, but I know that the ones with vent windows are 95 and older. So, let's have a look. See. Oh, and also, I need tires for my truck, for my D100. But the problem is, you never know where they're coming from. Like, I think these will work. I'm probably come out here and cut all the spares out, like four spares, and have a set. This particular yard, there's like an army of Mexicans that come out here and get all the tires. And that's how they run their used tire stores. So, it's a little challenging to get tires out of here. It's not a big deal, but... Generally speaking, if you see tires here, like you'll see somebody loading them into their vehicle. It's a 318. With the starter, not the style I want. I'm not going to lay down here and take it out anyway. Another Cherokee. Too new. I had a TJ. It's always weird to me to see TJs in the yard because uh, they generally have some value and people will drive them long past the point where they should. That one's not even nasty. Weird. It smells like Marlboros and child support. All right, all right, all right. I'll throw you guys on pause while I walk over here. All right, so I wanted to visit the Ford section. Some of these Fords have, so that's more than I really think I want. But they have 
pretty well sealed up little power distribution boxes. Look at this one. Like this one's sweet. Because it's a Ford fucking Ranger. Pull tab to release. Well, I'm trying. Let me just walk over here. Pretty sure it's the exact same thing. Nope. Shows what I know. That's a bunch. I don't want a bunch. I want some. Alright, hold on. This one's pretty good. I don't think it's quite as good as the XJ. But it's got maxi fuses, a buttload of relays. That one might... The Explorer one might be okay. Then again, it depends on what they want. Pricing on like everything in the world has gone a little sideways lately. Um, I mean, the whole point of doing this shit is to save money and when the junkyard tells you they want $94 for a fuse box, not saving any money. Yeah, see, that's wildly inappropriate. I just kind of following the rule that big truck, big fuse box, little truck, little fuse box. It's a rule I made up. But it seems not wildly untrue. If I could find a half ton OBS out here, I might be able to find some tires in my Dodge. <laughs> pretty sure well that's gotta be a fusion. So I'm pretty sure that's a Oh yeah. I like this one. This one's pretty good. And then you just hang the stuff off the side. Where's the power going? Underneath. So let's remember what this is. Ninety four. Ninety four Ranger. We like that one. Let's try to remember that. I don't see any, oh, there's one right in front of me. I don't see any OBS trucks. I actually, I got, eh, this one's kind of effed up. I need a bench seat for my truck, which sucks because I need one out of a super cab. Um, I got buckets, captain's chairs for it. And, uh, you have to, turns out you have to drill the floor out to make them work. I don't really feel like doing that right now. Um, so now, I'm stuck trying to find a semi hard to find super cab. So that it'll tilt forward so I can get to the back seat. So otherwise I can't put peanut on it. And peanut wants to go. There we go. Oh, sorry, this one's captain's chairs. People tell you these are rare and hard to find, but I can't not find them. All right, just a moment here. So let's see what else we can find. Face mask, I thought we were done with that another OBS down there. I'd really like to get back onto my bar truck, but it's just not the way she goes sometimes. Oh, look at this. That's brown. 
It's brown and it's half up. I don't know. I have to ponder that one. Probably leave it here until until I make up my mind and it's too late and it's gone. I'll take a real quick. <laughs> There's somebody's pride and joy. It's always mildly amusing to see stuff like this and mildly sad as well. Um, somebody really cared about that thing. Thought they were gonna have it forever. Bought the best of everything and here we are. <laughs> Stupid 4200. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap it up, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed the little junkyard tour. And uh, people come out here and rob these for the 243 heads, which will make about eight more horsepower than 862 heads. But people will go through all the pain to change them and you can't tell them any different. It's hilarious. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time on Driveway Engineer.